coming up on Ice Loves Coco. Coco and I decided to do a renewal of the vows to celebrate 10 great years of marriage. I'm thinking classy and traditional. Because I think I got to butt in right now. I want a little stage spinning real slow. Like a car show? I know you're not wearing that shirt to the wedding. My son Ice, I'm real proud of him. I know he has a mother, so it's really difficult for me as a stepmom. Why are you giving me that look? Yeah, look, uh, a little problem just came up. You're entitled to be sad. This is my moment. What's that, for your mug shot or for Twit Pick? For both. This is thick cheese. Why do you get the thick cheese? That was the only cheese they had. Maybe I should go to the grocery store and get some food. Well, you definitely should shop. Here, take a picture with me. Come on, I'm gonna miss my show. Hey, hold on, hold on. Now I gotta go into pose mode, hold on. Man, I got a fucking squirrel in the background. Move it, move. Oh. Don't look so far up in the air. Okay, here we go. I got it, perfect. Where's my head? Maybe I'm really excited about renewing our wedding vows, but I feel like on the edge. We haven't talked about so many things. This thing is going down. I mean, it's getting really close. Coco and I decided to do a renewal of the vows to celebrate 10 great years of marriage. So we hired the biggest event planner in New York City. Thanks for taking the time, because you know I'm like tense right now. <laughs> you called me, I'm here, I've got it covered. This is supposed to be the event of a lifetime. It's the Ice and Coco Royal Wedding. What are you talking about? When we got married, we eloped in Vegas. And even though eloping is a great thing, a girl still wants the wedding of her dreams. This renewal of the vows gives me a chance to show my family how much I love Ice. And lets everybody see how much I love you. Mm, I ain't too proud. So. I'll show the world. I'll testify. When I visualize this event, I'm thinking classy, romantic, and traditional. I see it already. This event has to be huge. I've always wanted to do a first dance thing in this beautiful gown. Amazing. The bouquet toss, the Gardevoir toss. And I'm thinking ballroom. I never wanted a big traditional wedding. And Coco and I did it, it was just her and I. We eloped. It was a beautiful thing. Large, maybe about 200 people. Yeah, for sure. And I was thinking the photo booth where people go and take right. fun pictures. Right, I love it. Cupcakes and ice cream. A candy station. What about ice sculptures? I love ice yeah. sculptures. Pause, pause. Good. I think I got to butt in right now. OK, there's some things I want. Because if we're going to do this big, we got to do it right. Coco's dealing with the renewal of vows in an emotional way. To me, the ceremony is a performance. And since my background is show business, I know how to put on a performance. I want a little stage that we can stand on. And before they see us, I want some curtains in the front so they drop. Like a kabuki drop. You call it what you want, boo. A kabuki, a dookie drop, whatever it is, drop the curtain. Oh and me and Coco are going to be standing in the middle just spinning real slow. Like a car show? Wow. <laughs> Maybe when the curtain drops, some doves just go loose in the joint. What, are you crazy? The and then also to give the nuptials to us, Archbishop Don Magic Wand. Archbishop Don Magic Wand was the first person that said, marry her. Bishop took one look at Coco and looked at me and said, put a ring on that player. You're worried about me going overboard, look at you. You pick the food, you pick the color. Can a have a stage that spins? Hello. Hey. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, Lavenda. Nice to see you again. A few months ago, House of Bride Couture asked me to be the face of their wedding dresses. And I did a photo shoot for them. So since I'm going to have a wedding of my own, it just made sense to call them up and have them design a dress for me. I love that dress. I oh. love, love, love that dress. Solji is so excited about these gowns. He pretty much thinks he's the bride. 
Oh, yes. I would just so work this trap. What are you doing, dropping my... Soldi. See, I can't bring him anywhere. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Soldi, been great support. I'm so excited to plan this wedding for her. I did her launch party. Oh, yeah? You oh, know, fabulous. there, making sure all of her photo shoots are great. So, you know, I got some fabulous ideas for her wedding. Like her walking in white rose petals. White? Really make it iced out, because that's what they like. Ready? I'm ready. Wow. That is like everybody's dream dress. I know, I know. Oh, my god. That is my dream dress. After all this time, my family and friends finally get to see me in a wedding dress, especially my sister. Do you guys make maternity clothes? We do. Really? Yes, absolutely. Who do you have in mind? My sister, she's, she's oh. very pregnant. I think we could go with a Grecian look, mm -hmm. something she's comfortable in, she can wear the belly well. What type of wedding? It's very royal. My friend Tammy, she's oh. actually wedding planning. She's got it perfect. She's down to a T. She knows what she's doing. When did you guys start planning this? We've been on the phone like on pretty much every single day. Hey, Chris. Hey, Coco. How's it going? I'm so excited that I'm going to see you. I picked out some shoes for you to wear. I picked out these Valentinos. Extra hot. I know this might be a little tight on your feet since your feet are a little swollen. Aren't you so excited? Why are you giving me that look? Do you have a headache or something? What's going on? I had a doctor's appointment today. Is something wrong with the baby? Coming up. I was wondering why you chose Tammy to plan your wedding and not me. She took my moment. Ice-T, do you have anything to say? I don't express my feelings the same way everybody does. Go ahead, Ice-T. <sighs> What's going on? I had a doctor's appointment today. Is something wrong with the baby? No, but the doctor's telling me that I can't fly. You know, to California to go to your wedding. Obviously, keeping you and the baby safe is the most important thing. But I'm sad. You're the main person I want there, Chris. Baby. I just got off the phone with Chris. What's the matter? She is going to miss my wedding again. The doctor says it's too risky for her to fly. Come here, come here. You're entitled to be sad. What do I always tell you? Don't spaz out. I say just move forward and uh, we'll figure it out. All right, go finish getting packed. When Chrissy's not doing well, Coco's not doing well. The whole idea of this wedding thing is for Coco's family to see her in this dress and for Coco to have this ceremony. So without Chrissy being there, Coco's not going to be happy. Hey, yo, Derek, it's Ice. I decided to call Chrissy's husband, Derek, to maybe come up with a solution. The doctor said Chrissy can't fly, right? But maybe there's another way. I got something in the works. I'll keep you posted. I'm the kind of person, when you tell me a problem, I'm out to try to correct it. Hey, yo, Mark, what's happening? Yo, yeah, look, uh, a little problem just came up, and I need you to handle this for me, homie. It's what you do, man. You can do this. All right, Mark, I'll see you in LA. Yeah, I didn't like these CEC rims I bought. They broke. <laughs> My son Ice is 19 years old. He lives in Los Angeles. He just got out of high school. Give me some love, homie. Give me some love. Ice started a job at a car customizing place in Beverly Hills. And whenever Coco and I are in LA, we make it a point to come see him. Hey. Hey, Coco. Uh, How you doing? <laughs> Little Ice and I. Uh, have more of a friend relationship. You know, I know he has a mother, so he doesn't need another one. So it's really difficult for me as a stepmom. I know you're not wearing that shirt to the wedding. <laughs> Coco met Ice when I, he was nine years old. 
So everybody that has, you know, that type of family scenario knows it's not that simple. First job, first real serious job. Tell me about it, man. What's it like? Better than where I was at, working in the warehouse. Well, you start at the warehouse. That's part of the game. If you don't start at the bottom, you don't respect it, you know? I'm coming from an orphan family. I don't have any parents, no mother, father, sisters, brothers, so I don't express my feelings the same way everybody does. My son, he doesn't get a lot of that affection the way he might want it, because I don't know how to do it. You got a lot of new candy around here. You want to check it out? Yeah, what's good? We do gang stuff for TV. Anytime you take me around a bunch of cars, it's like Coco in a shoe closet. I love them, and I could just sit there all day, rubbing them, touching them. They have power, they have curves, they have smooth lines. But you can't have sex with a car. That's cold right there, man. When I saw that ghost, a light went off in my head. Because Coco and I had been looking at that Rolls Royce, and I know she wanted a white on white one, but we have just been putting it off. Mm -hmm. But now this seems like the right time to commemorate our 10 year wedding anniversary. It should be a special occasion when you buy a Rolls. Right? <laughs> I agree. Hey, hey, I'm proud of you, dude. Yeah, he's good. I'm proud, I'm of, proud of you. Love you, man. Love you too, Dad. Okay, so I just need all hands on deck. So I'm gonna start telling you about things that need to happen. I'm gonna start assigning this to you. I still haven't put it on my mind that my sister won't be able to make it to my wedding. But luckily, my honorary bridesmaids are here. I don't know what I'd do with that soldier and sparkle. We're gonna need extra hands for checking in. We have a photographer doing a portrait studio, and then we have props, so we need to set up all the props. And then also, we really need to worry about these ice sculptures, because they're disconnected to these machines, and so I need someone every 30 minutes to look at the ice sculptures. And then um, we definitely could use some help with the candy station. So which one of you feels, like, creative? Someone has to do the candy. OK, fine. You do the place cards, you do the candy. Well, you're in charge. Coming up, Coco's a special delivery for you. <gasps> hey. Come on down, Snoop Dogg. Give it up for Lil Ice. I didn't even know I was going to get up and do this. It was last minute. Oh, it's disgusting. Today's the day I've been waiting for. Not only am I renewing my wedding vows, I'm picking up my brand new white on white ghost. I used to be homeless, so this is a victory. I'm speechless. Woo! What is it? What is it? Woo! Hopefully, Mark found some transportation for Coco's sister, Christy. Her husband, Derek, checked with the doctor. Chrissy can't fly, but she can ride. Tell me some good news, Mark. We got Chrissy coming in, Derek, the four kids, plush, comfortable. You got a limo? No, not quite a limo, a little bigger. Let's go in the big bus. You might need your medical bag inside too, honey. I can't believe my wedding is today. You heard what happened with the jewelry, right? The guy, he got sick and no longer could be here, meaning I don't have any jewels to wear. And my sister, she's not here. The main person that I want here is not here. You don't seem like yourself, Solji. I've known Solji for a long time. I can tell some things up that he's not telling me. I was wondering why you chose Tammy to plan your wedding. I've done the birthday party and the launch party. You, you know? wanted to do the wedding? Yeah, I thought I would have did a good job. If you were planning the wedding, you wouldn't have time to enjoy it. I consider you family. Wow. That's why I wanted you to chill and have fun. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I don't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> no, but it's cool. You don't feel bad? Not no more since I know why. Yeah, and she's a girl, too. Well, you know, I can do some girl stuff. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel a lot better. Our day is going to be fabulous, along with Spartacus. <laughs> so, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to start humping you, too. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, is somebody in my room? Do you come with the suite? I wish I could be here all day relaxing in it. 
You worrying about Chrissy? Mm-hmm. She's coming. What do you mean she's coming? I put Mark on it before we left New York. And they rented a tour bus. A tour bus? It's got plasma screens, places she can lay down. This is like the biggest surprise ever. Can a brother get some sugar? Get some sugar. Get a brother. Mm. You look good in that. Spartacus, fall back, player. Shot it on. My butt crack is sweating already. Yeah. Oh, wow. That happens. So, That's what's good. going on downstairs? Is, is the music playing? Is people arriving? Mm -hmm. Everything is good. How about my sister? Have you seen my sister? Um. She's gonna be here. Yeah, but she's not here. Like, I'm literally about to walk out the door and she's not here. She's gonna be here, Coco. This is my moment. This is like the moment when I want her to see me get married. I need my best friend here. Hey, 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 hey. Ow! I don't think we're gonna make it. I went down there and did a little check. It's, it's quite crowded. Did you see Christy? No, nope, not yet. It's literally minutes away from the wedding, and my sister still hasn't shown up. We should be here. Gotta stay positive. I'm trying. Just nervous. This is nerve-wracking. Yeah, well, you know. Shoot, they're probably ready for me to come down. Hey, hurry, guys. Coco's a special delivery for you. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm going to have a heart attack right now. You look so pretty. I'm so glad you're here. You made it. Like, seriously, I thought you were having a baby or something. <laughs> I didn't even need the ceremony. Just her being there and just knowing that she was by my side was an awesome feeling. Chris, go down and get set ready. Come on, Coco, it's going down, girl. Y'all know what we're here for tonight. So let's give it up and welcome curtain drops, the crowd gives us a great applause. Cameras were going off, and uh, we were feeling the love right then. Come on down, Snoop Dogg. Oh, gee, what's up, baby? So happy that y'all doing y'all thing thing in a real big way, especially in the city of LA. So I love you, IC, I love you, Coco. I'm, I'm a fan and a friend. Let me get the picture real quick. Bishop asked people from both sides of the family to come up and give like what I call testimonials. I feel like everybody just spoke from the heart. I couldn't be more proud to have such a wonderful brother-in-law. As a father, you worry about your little girls, and I don't. If I die tomorrow, she's in good hands. I couldn't be more happy for them. Give it up for Leah Lies. Hey, what's up, everyone? I mean, I didn't even know I was gonna get up and do this. It was last minute, but I just wanna say one thing. Coco, I love you. And I do, I do, and I just love to see my dad happy, and you guys are the best together, and I really love you guys, and I'm really happy to see you guys do this. I'm serious, I really love you guys, and I'm happy. Sometimes with a stepmother, you wanna hear that you're loved. So when he says that he loves me, that was really nice. That was really nice that he just kinda opened up out of the blue. Give me y'all. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Ice-T, do you take Coco to be your love for what and why? The love and the cherry to death do y'all apart? I do. Coco, do you take Ice-T to love and the cherish until death do y'all apart? I do. Ice T, do you have anything to say? Save my life, Coco.
He saved my life. I'm happy every day. And everybody knows it's real. Thank you, boo. Thank you, boo. I never see emotion from ice, ever. Nah, it's a rare thing. And I had to learn to block out emotions because of my life. It's a survival tactic. But for me to release my emotions in front of all those guys, that was big for me. You're my heart, you're my spirit, you're my everything. And I really mean that. We're going all the way, baby. Now with the power that is invested in me, I now renew the vow and pronounce you Man and what you may kiss your bride. We'll definitely throw a 20 year anniversary party. How can you top? the one that we just did. I mean, We'd have a yacht. I wouldn't put all my friends on a yacht, because even though they were nice that night, they all don't get along with each other. My <laughs> would be overboard. You had a good time? I had a fabulous time. Are you well, happy? I'm so happy. Thank you, honey. Let's blow this spot. Okay. On the season finale of Ice Loves Coco. I am delivering my sister's baby. I am seriously on pins and needles. What to expect when you're expect? You're not expecting Chrissy's expecting. So, G, doesn't this make you want a little baby? Yeah, so that's why you have to have one. Are you having baby fever? It's time. I got it. I got this. I got this. My sister's actually going to labor right now, and I'm up there. You OK, Chris? Uh... She starts yelling. I couldn't take that, and I went into panic mode. 